some differences with your intonation. I like it. Yeah, hi you're there. You're trying hey, to vary give me just your one tone. Second. I can say it's perfect some, uh, yet, but you're definitely minutes, so moving on. forward, which is good. All right, I just apologize. I'm just in the middle of uh, grading one of my online student speaking practice tests, and also I want to answer your question. So uh, you asked me a question at my Better TOEFL Scores blog, right? So the question here is how could I – and you want to say here, not preparing, how could I prepare for the TOEFL test without attending class and paying expensive tuition fees? That's a good question. And you couldn't have asked, I mean, you have exactly asked the best person for this question because this is exactly what I do. I help students all over the world improve their academic English language proficiency and in many cases, it does not break their banks or their budgets. And there's a lot of things that you can do that cost no money at all. So let's just give you a comparison. So let's say you're studying in an intensive English program here in the United States. The tuition alone is probably two to $3,000 for a quarter or a semester. And then you have your room and your board and your utilities, your expenses and your car if you have one. And all of those things and it becomes super expensive to study English and to prepare for the TOEFL exam and guess what I can I can save you tens of thousands of dollars with what I'm going to tell you right now most people uh, most people know a lot of what I'm going to say but a lot of students they I mean you got to be motivated if you're a self-starter if you're good at scheduling and putting things on your calendar and then making it happen and doing it without somebody watching you or grading you or anything like that, uh, I think this is going to help you a lot. So get ready to take notes. So 60% of your time, I have five tips here. They cost you no money at all, zero. Number one, I want you to start reading every day for about 45 minutes. Focus on newspapers, magazines, and longer books. Number two, you can also practice listening every day for about 45 minutes. If you have English TV, you can focus on news, documentary, history, and science programs. Now, if you don't have English TV or you can't afford it, it costs too much money. Uh, if you have the Internet, and that's going to cost you some money to, you know, to have the Internet, good Internet connection, but my advice is there's three good websites. First of all, you can use Randall's. Cyber Listening Lab. That's the first real useful website. The second one is National Public Radio. Even e Educational Testing Service recommends this website. And finally, TED Talks. So as you're doing your reading and your listening practice, you're definitely working on getting down the main and the most important supporting points of the reading and listening passages in note form. So you should practice note taking. Again, just take out a sheet of paper as you're reading and listening, start taking notes. My fourth suggestion is using your notes. I want you to do three 60 second oral summaries each week. You need to record the oral summary too and you can listen to it after and then you can pay attention to your uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, and also topic development. So that's also going to be very, very helpful for you. Now my fifth suggestion is to write three 250 word summaries each week, again using your notes based on the reading and the listening passages, you should be writing these summaries. So it's going to help you get more comfortable. Now you might say, well Michael, my note taking skills are terrible, but you know what? If you start today, three months from now, you'll be very, very good with your note taking. It takes time and takes practice, but start putting in the time. Now th these five suggestions here, they cost you nothing. And you will get just as much benefit doing these five things as if you were in an intensive English program paying thousands and thousands of dollars in tuition. The only difference is, is you don't have anyone looking over your shoulder. Nobody's going to force you to do these five things. But if you do them, 
you will find that your academic English language abilities will skyrocket. You will do really, really well. Now, my next suggestion is about 40% of your time right now. So if you set aside maybe two to four hours every day, 60% of your time you do the first five suggestions. And then 40% of your time you can go through the lessons in my online TOEFL course. And it's not going to bust your budget. If you go to my website, onlinetoefelcourse.com, check it out. And you can click on the join uh, page and you can learn about my course. It's not very expensive. And my recommendation for you is, first of all, go through the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar lessons. This will probably take you between two and three months. If you can master the lessons here, your English skills are really, really going to get really, really, really advanced. Okay, now my tip seven is go through the listening and reading sections after you finish the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar. It'll probably take you a couple of months to do this. And then the eighth suggestion is to go through the writing and the speaking sections of my course. And guess what? You're not going to believe this, but most online courses, you, you can name them. You got the English Success Academy, you have ETS's TOEFL IBT preparation course, you have Test10, you have Noteful, and countless other online courses. They don't offer what I'm going to offer you right now. You can start posting writing and speaking practice tests even on a daily basis. My limit is one. You can post up to one writing and one speaking practice test each day, and you know what's going to happen? I'm going to talk to you. When you do the speaking, I will give you audio comments just like I'm talking to you right now. I will tell you problems you're having with pronunciation. I will tell you what grammar and vocabulary issues you have. I will also diagnose any problems you're having developing and organizing your ideas. And really, to be honest with you, even in an intensive English course, you know, if you're in an intensive English program, you probably will not get this kind of feedback. I have already, I have graded over the last few years over 6,000 TOEFL, IBT, independent, and integrated speaking practice tests. I've also graded tens of thousands of writing practice tests. So you know what? I'm an expert. And here's what I do. I, I, I don't just give you a score. I will tell you what your score is, what your problems are, and then I will recommend specific lessons in my online course that you can study in order to improve. And guess what? All of these things are under one small monthly payment. I'm not kidding you. I'm serious. Now, what you can do here in about maybe two or three months from now, once you've gotten into the groove and you've been following my nine suggestions and you feel like you've been studying every day for maybe two to four hours and you want to mark your progress, I recommend that you take a full-length IBT practice test. The practice tests are five hours long. Now, it'll cost you a little bit of extra money. Uh, I have a website I contract with, and they will offer these practice tests for you at a discount. I think it's right around $34 to take one of these practice tests. But you know what? That's a lot less money than being in an intensive English program. Am I right? So think about it. You have one, one low monthly payment that you're going to be paying me. You can use my course as long as you need it. You can cancel your subscription to my course at any time. And I guarantee you, if you follow my plan, and then you start getting feedback from me when you do the writing and the speaking. I'm telling you, you will definitely improve your academic English and your TOEFL score is going to get better. It really will. All right, so let's go back to what you said. So I think I've given you a pretty thorough answer how you can prepare for the TOEFL test without attending class and paying expensive tuition fees. All right, so good luck to you and all. All the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.